Well, the bead diggers could have used a break there, but they're not getting it. First and ten for Florence at their own 37-yard line. Both teams have all three timeouts. Baxson and I, and Benker's going to hand it off to Alexander, running right across the 40, continues to drive, breaks out of a tackle, and Joe Rosenbrock makes the play at the 50. But there should have been maybe two or three yards for Alexander instead of a gain of 13, and a Florence first down on the other side of the 50. Just showing a lot of strength. Well, you can tell those Florence kids have put a lot of time into that weight room because they, they're breaking tackles left and right. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety. That is the brush grocery cart. First and ten from the 50 for Florence. They've got a chance to take their first lead of the game. Banker on the option left will pitch it to Alexander. He's got a yard. Tyson Larrick read the play as Alexander cut it back towards the middle, and he brought him down at the 49 at second and nine. Just a great play there by the Diggers, forcing Florence into a second and long situation. Yeah, you've got to force Florence to throw the football. They've completed just a couple of passes in this game. Three passes, actually. You can do that. You've got a shot to stop them here. On second down and nine for the 49-yard line of Brush. 5.55 to go in the game. Brush seven, Florence seven. Under center, Banker's going to hand it off right up the gut. And a gain of three to Tyler Farrell to the 46 as Levi Brenneman made the tackle. They're only giving them two to the 47, though they backtracked it a little bit. Third and seven, and this is the biggest play of the season now for the beat diggers with five and a half to go. Yep, they did a good job of closing that thing up and, and keeping him corralled in there and then stopping him so he couldn't surge straight ahead, but like you said, right here, we got to get this three and out. Trips to the right. Bankers in a shotgun formation. Third down and seven for the 47. Rolling to his right, looking to throw along the sideline. The pass going to be caught. Inside the 35-yard line to the 33. To Abram Mendoza. And that's a gain of 14 and a Florence first down. Boy, he was wide open over there, too. He was, he was he found that scene in between the flats coverage and the deep coverage, and he just kind of sat down right there, and guys couldn't get there in time to, to knock the pass down. And Mendoza, I, you mentioned, found the seam, and Banker had plenty of time to throw the football. On first and 10 from the 33, the back's in an eye. Banker is going to roll to his right, look to throw. Now back to his left. He'll take off with the football, and he slides to the 31. And we've got a flag down. He slid in front of Skyder Seawald. If that flag, and it is against Florence, that could drive them back past their own 40, and it's going to be a hold against Florence. Now, is it from the end of the run? Or from the line of scrimmage. Looks like it was right from the end of the run. It'll be first down and 18 at the fourth one-yard line. So it amounts to an eight-yard penalty. Boy, this is ten moments right now in Florence at Husky Stadium. First and 18 for the Huskies at the beat digger 41. 4.44 to go in the game. Brush and Florence deadlocked at seven. Receiver split out to the left and right. Banker is barking out the signals, and Banker is going to hand it off on the left side, and there is nothing hit behind the line of scrimmage for at least a one- or two-yard loss as Tyler Farrell, as Levi Brenneman, Tyson Larrick, and Joe Rosenbrock were all there, and that football is going to be marked at the 43-yard line. It'll be second down and 20. Florence just going to make that option work. They just keep running it and running it, and they're, they're just waiting for something to break open. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. We're approaching the four-minute mark of the game. It'll be second down and 20. Bankers in a shotgun formation. Trips to the right. He rolls to his right, and there's a flag down. And I think we might have a penalty against Brush. Illegal procedure. No, it's against Florence. I thought one official was actually pointing Brush's way for some reason, even though that wouldn't make sense on an illegal procedure. The football will be at the 47, so let's make it officially second and 24 with second and 19. Before that play, second and 24, clock continues to run. And now Florence is going to be a little bit careful about not trying to pick up too much on just one play. Because they have trips out to the right. And a shotgun is Banker. He's six yards off the ball, awaiting the snap. 
Three-step drop. Looking to throw. Wants to throw along the sideline. He tosses it. And the pass is going to be complete at the 30-yard line. And knocked out of bounds is Danny Droll. At around the 29. That's a gain of 18 yards. It'll be third down. The Bee Diggers have got to do a better job here. It's only third down and six to go. Basically the same play that was completed earlier to Mendoza where the guy just found the seam right there in between the corner and the and the DB. And again, Florence was careful to make sure you throw underneath, and even though 18 yards is not underneath, the Bee Diggers gave him that room. Clock stops as he went out of bounds with 3.36 to go in the game. It is third down and six for the 29. Backs in an eye. Anchor rolls to his left, looking to throw. He throws the pass. is complete, and that's going to be a first down to around the 22. It's a gain of seven. Spencer Drake makes the catch towards that left hash mark before the beat diggers made the tackle. Levi Brenneman makes the play. So on two plays, they needed 24 yards and picked up 25 with seven on that play. Well, that was a good play there to Drake. It was a kind of a quick hitter. As he rolled here to the left, he ran. He rolled against his throwing arm, and, and that just threw a strike. Boy, it was a strong throw. Well, they're going to measure, but I believe he's got a first down rather easily. All right, you're given 24 yards on defense to make two to three plays, and you can't do it. It's going to be tough for the beat diggers now to win this game. Their goal at this point is to get it to overtime. First and 10 for Florence to the beat digger 22. Don't forget, Florence has got a kicker. He kicked that PAT. We'll see if you know, if it comes to that, you know, if they have an opportunity for a field goal. 325, the clock is running, tied at 7. First and 10 from the 22, and Benker hands it off on the left side and stopped after a short gain is Alexander to the 20-yard line, driven back by Derek Lynch and Kyle Hefner. Well, just a yard to the 21, second down and nine, and this is when that beat digger defense, which has come up big so many times this season, has got to get it done. We're under three minutes to go, and if Florence picks up another first down, the beat diggers might have to start using timeouts defensively because they're set up very nicely at the brush 21-yard line. On second down and nine, Banker will hand it off, and oh, he'll keep it himself. And the beat diggers were not fooled, even though I was, and he's thrown down right at the line of scrimmage by Connor Weiser and others. And that'll be third down and nine for the 21. Big play for Brush there. Lately, whenever Flores has tried to run that option, uh, Weiser's done a pretty good job of coming across and just making sure that he tackles him every single time, whether he has the ball or not. I think that's what happened that time as he made contact really low and wrapped his arm around him and threw him down. Florence takes a timeout. We'll take it with him. 2.18 to go in the game. Florence 7, Brush 7 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 